Welcome guys to a series I'm calling My Europe Diaries and this is our first entry. Looking back now just fills me with so many emotions. This truly was the trip of a lifetime and I can't wait to share just some of the fun memories I made. Our first entry is a log of my three nights in Prague, the first stop on our route starting on Saturday April 29. I did this trip completely solo but I certainly wasn't alone the whole time. I started with an early ride so decided to pick up a quick breakfast en route, this granola yogurt and berry compote pot. I made my way through London to Luton Airport and yeah, I did nearly go to the wrong airport but what about it? And of course, I needed a caffeine kick when I finally made it through security in one piece. My usual, an iced caramel latte. I was flying with air, which I've never used before, but it, we left on time and it all went smoothly. I say that, but actually when I got on the plane, my assigned seat had this huge sticker saying do not use on it. And I just awkwardly perched there as all of these people just flooded onto the plane behind me, giving me funny looks for sitting on the do not sit seat. Anyway, eventually a flight attendant came over and he actually moved me towards the back of the plane so I ended up with a whole row to myself with extra leg room. I'm calling that lucky girl syndrome. I had picked up some lunch in duty free before boarding the plane. I got this no chicken salad sandwich and popcorn from Boots. I'm not going to lie, there wasn't many lunch choices at 10am but I made do and actually the sandwich was super tasty and a bit different to my usual choice. I just checked in and I'm going to charge my phone a little bit before heading out anywhere because it's nearly dead and I'm going to need charge to use Google Maps. I'm in a six bed female only dorm with a ensuite bathroom and it's really nice in here actually but it's so quiet. There's only two people on reception and there's no one in the room. Only two of the beds are claimed. I don't know who I'm going to meet. Hopefully someone. You told me you loved me and I sang this song. Just really quickly, this Uniqlo bag, £15, saw it on TikTok, people were like, it's a Mary Poppins bag, it really is. Glasses, room key, money, sunglasses, filming phone, camera, snack, hand cream, headphones, lip balm, anti-bag, train ticket, personal alarm. I sang this song I had an old time song Baby, we were kissing for the whole ride home Laying, making wishes, it was all night long You told me you loved me and I sang this song I sang this song Oh, B, life in the hills, it ain't all bad Wait by the phone till you call back Drove to the beach with the top back Top back, top back
So I woke up bright and early on Sunday, April 30th with a busy day ahead of me. I only had two full days in Prague, so I knew I really wanted to maximize my time here and there was a lot to see and do. I got ready for the day and headed out for breakfast and yeah, I did go to Costa. This was day one of a two week trip and I just wanted something a little bit within my comfort zone on that first morning. I grabbed a slice of banana bread and of course, another iced caramel latte. We will be seeing more of those. And I promise I do go further and further from my comfort zone over time. I'd had actually met these two lovely British girls in my hostel room the night before and we'd set up a few rough plans for the day. So I'd heard about this Museum of Illusions online and they were happy to come with me, which was so nice just to have a bit of company on my very first day, especially these girls. They were so, so lovely and they made my introduction to solo travel absolutely incredible. So thanks guys and shout out to you if you ever just happen to watch this. I have been to Primark, but look how cute. They're really cute. I actually went in there for a sweet mask. Lavender infused and it was on sale. So I'm calling that a win. And I had to pick up those jeans because I've been looking for something just like them for ages. So I thought, why not? I'm just charging my phone and I'm going to head back out, do some more sightseeing. <laughs> Yeah, so they were playing One Direction in Harrods and I popped in just for a quick boogie. I simply couldn't resist. But after that, it was time to pick up some quick dinner and I found this place that did these huge veggie wraps. This was stunning, delicious, impeccable. I can't remember what it was exactly, but it was called The Barbie. I did eat it in the most gracious way and spill it all down myself like a proper animal though. 
and I was craving the same ice cream I had on my first night. The chain had a location directly next door, but the queue was ridiculous. So I headed back to the location from the first night, which still had a queue, but it was a little bit quicker, I hope. Honestly, the ice cream was so worth the wait. I just had a scoop of peanut butter in a cone today and it really hit the spot. I must have got quite lucky on that first night because there was always a thousand mile queue when I walked past after that. I made my way to the dancing house rooftop to meet up with the girlies from earlier for some sunset rooftop drinks. There's no entrance fee here, as long as you buy a drink you can access the rooftop terrace and the drinks were totally reasonably priced. I had a mimosa and we watched the sun go down just for a few hours before heading home. The next morning I had some more solo adventure plans so I fueled myself well with a breakfast at Venue, which I think is a fairly popular breakfast spot in Prague and I can totally see why.
Look in my eyes, what do you see? You're the only thing I need I'm so tired, but I'm gonna rest and then head back out for dinner. I try one of those cake things, I keep saying, with like the pastry and the ice cream inside. I don't know what it's called. I'm determined to get that tonight. It's my last night here. I'm gonna make the most of it. I just need to like rest for a few minutes. For dinner today, I kind of just wandered the streets until something caught my eye and ended up at this really tiny Wokken sushi bar. The staff here was so friendly and it felt so cosy, but I actually got my food to go and walked back across the old town to eat in the main square to do a bit of people watching. I had some tofu noodles, which are maybe the best noodles I've ever eaten. As well as some avocado rolls. finally time to try this chimney cake. I don't know if I went to a quote unquote good shop for this, I honestly just went to the first one I saw, but you can buy these things on every corner in Prague and I've been wanting to try one since I arrived. It was not a letdown, but also maybe not as good as I was hoping. I was a little bit meh, but still something I'm glad I tried whilst I was here and I reminded that not every moment or every bite of food will be perfect and that's okay. I got an early night because I had a coach the next morning at 9am and needed to pop to Little for a snack run before that. I also had breakfast at the hostel with another super nice girl from our hostel room who was doing a very similar trip to myself but unfortunately it was my final morning so we only had a very brief chat before going our separate ways as I made my way to the coach ready for our next destination and our next diary entry. I sang this song I had 